Hi students, it's Aunt Marge once again. Hope you're having a good day. We've been talking about obedience, rules, and commandments. God has given us 10 commandments, and He's given us these 10 commandments not to keep us from having fun, but rather to keep us safe. He wants to protect us. Sometimes we find that it's difficult to obey rules and God's commandments. As simple human beings, if we don't stop and think or pray, we probably will make what? A bad choice instead of a good choice. For example, you're really, really hungry and you see sister's cookie on the table and you know it's sister's cookie. But because you're so hungry, you don't stop and think or pray. So what might you do then? You might take sister's cookie and eat it to satisfy your immediate hunger. You did not consider that you were breaking one of God's commandments, thou shalt not steal. You didn't stop to think about that. So that is what kind of choice? That's a bad choice. And we see our arrow is pointing to bad choice. Or maybe your mom says, make sure you clean your, your room before you go outside to play. And you just automatically say, I already cleaned my room. And you run outside because your friends are waiting for you to play. You, again, you didn't stop and think or pray. or Remember that this is one of God's commandments. In fact, you're breaking two commandments here. Thou shalt honor your parents, your mom and your dad, and also that you should not lie or bear false witness. Well, you know what, boys and girls? God and Jesus understand our human nature and our inability to always make the good choices or, or the right choices. So he sends the Holy Spirit. So this cylinder is S, and the water that I have is going to represent the Holy Spirit. So let's see what happens when we allow God's Holy Spirit in our lives. Will we make good choices or bad choices? So we pray for the Holy Spirit. And this is one of the prayers that God loves to answer. What happened, boys and girls? You see the arrow went the other direction. It's now pointing to good. Because with the Holy Spirit in our lives, boys and girls, we are now equipped to make good choices. So let's remember that. Bow your heads as I pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will allow the Holy Spirit to rule in our lives and help us not to think that we know more than you or the Holy Spirit. So Father, we need you. We need your spirit. We need your direction. So we invite your presence to be with us. Now be with us as we go into our program for today. In Jesus' name, amen. So boys and girls, don't forget, you're more likely if you stop and think and pray to make good choices rather than bad choices. If you do that, you will make good choices. Sometimes you might make mistakes or errors, but remember God is always with you. And when we do make bad choices, what do we do? We confess to God. When we willingly do something that is wrong or break one of his rules or one of our parents' rules, we ask for forgiveness. And God says, I'm faithful, I'll forgive you if you're sincere about it, and I'll help you the next time. Now stay tuned for the rest of our program, and make sure that you look at all parts of our program. Aunt March is going to be giving away five gifts if you can answer questions from our nature section, and you'll have to email me the correct answers. So be sure to stay tuned and enjoy. God bless you.